We are mixing it up with our tile selections. We don't know who will end up living in the home. And you will never guess what colour we're using. We've got to find somebody to use it. Whoever thought laundry might be your favourite room in the house. The right storage definitely makes life easier. Wow. We are on the home stretch of this build and so much happens in this final building stage. We have cabinetry going in, bench tops, electrical fit off and plumbing. Lots of small but very crucial steps take place. Final inspections and quality checks are the final piece of the puzzle before we get our keys. It feels like so much is crammed into this final stage of the build, but it is so exciting when the painting, the tiling and all the cabinetry goes in. This home is jam-packed with custom-built cabinetry because we know how much value storage and this cabinetry will add to the home. We have worked closely with several real estate agents over the years and the one thing that they have taught me is that when people are looking to buy a brand new home, they want everything done. Finished, they don't want to have to come in and do any more work or spend any more money and that's the number one reason we include custom cabinetry in our homes. The tricky part is designing the cabinetry when we don't know who will end up living in the home. So for us, we design it as if we would live in the home and the key for us is making sure things can be hidden away because that helps keep a tidier home. The laundry is located on the south side of the home near the kitchen and in close proximity to the external doors. We are always thinking about how we would live in this home and the laundry is on the south side. It gets no direct sunlight. So if we had an external door and a clothesline out there, uh, the clothes would never dry. So we've already decided that the clothesline would have to go on the north side of the house. So we've just taken out the external door because it's not necessary. We have included a linen cupboard in the laundry downstairs. So there's one upstairs and one downstairs. This is especially important because we have a swimming pool and you'll need somewhere to keep your towels. We've both lived in a two-storey home with that laundry mudroom combo and we absolutely love it. With kids, it's a must. It means that when the kids get home from school, they can go straight to the mudroom and laundry, put their shoes in the drawers and put their dirty socks in the laundry hamper. If you're not sure how to introduce colour into your home, the laundry can be the perfect place to do it. Doing the washing and folding is boring, but that doesn't mean your laundry has to be. We're having fun and you will never guess what colour we're using. More green. The fun doesn't just stop with the cabinetry colour, we are mixing it up with our tile selections. We've got the same floor tile that we used in the guest ensuite and the main bathroom. It's in a smaller format and we're gonna run it in a double herringbone pattern just to create a bit more interest. And then we have this gorgeous feature tile to use as the splashback. Now this is the same one we used in the main bathroom. It's just in a warmer tone because we felt it suited the green cabinetry really well. To keep costs down in the laundry, we won't be using the V-Groove cabinetry, but instead we'll add these cute white handles and to make sure it ties in with the rest of the house, we'll still use the same white stone bench top and gold tapware. Our golden rule is to pick larger formats for the bathrooms to keep grout lines to a minimum because we don't like cleaning grout. Well, yes, especially if it's in the shower. Yeah, so I wanted to do something a bit different in this laundry. Because it's the same one and we're not introducing a new tile, I thought we could do it as a double herringbone. I think that's going to work really well. Yeah. In most wet areas of the home, we prefer to use large format tiles on our floors to keep grout cleaning to a minimum. But the laundry is one place that we like to break that rule. I really wanted to use Lemonex seed somewhere in this house because I just loved that colour. So I sort of knew that the laundry was where I wanted to use it. Yes. I found this. It is called Triple Basket Weave. So. We go one, two, three, one, two, three. So we can have mix it up fun. a little bit, have a bit of fun. I cannot wait to see this laundry finished. 
Who ever thought laundry might be your favourite room in the house? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's not so good. We're including a large home office right at the entry of the home. It really is important with so many people working from home these days. Having the home office located near the entry means that if someone's working from home but needs to bring clients into the office, they don't need to walk them through the whole house. So I spotted this new design from Lemonex. It's the pure grain. So it's got this subtle grain through it, mm, but it's, it's still a matte beautiful. finish. I know, I just really want to use it because I love it. It's got a great texture, a great yeah. way to add interest and character to just what would yeah. otherwise be a plain colour. We've got to find somebody to use it because I, I love it so much. So. Yeah. Where can we put it? We do have the home office. Having that texture is really going to make it have a high impact when you walk through the front door. Let's get some samples. Let's get these two. Yes. then we can narrow it down and make sure it's going to go. For us, natural light plays a really big part in our colour selections. So in the home office, we've chosen white cabinetry, but to add a little bit of interest, we've chosen the pure grain, which has a timber wood grain texture to it. And we're going to add some gold handles to tie it in with the rest of the house. We're also including a study nook upstairs that can accommodate up to two people. As much as we love to have consistency throughout the home, that doesn't mean our design selections have to be identical. In the study nook upstairs, we're introducing another cabinetry colour and to tie it in with the rest of the house, we're going to use these cute gold handles and this timber laminate desktop, which we used in the kitchen. In your upstairs study nook, we've got a desk and two banks of drawers. Yes. What I've done is I've done the drawers in the middle of the bench top instead of at the ends. We need that support in the bench top. Right. If the drawers were on the ends, you'd have an ugly support panel. Okay, we want to avoid that. Yes, great. Smart thinking, thank you. I've lived in homes with very little storage and lots of storage. And the right storage definitely makes life easier. It's time to show you just how amazing this laundry turned out. We said at the start of this build that we were going to have fun with colour in the laundry, but we've not just stopped with colour, we've added loads of texture as well. These gorgeous tiles were used up in the main bathroom, just in a different colour. We've gone for something warmer in here to add texture and laying them in that basket weave pattern just adds more interest and they tie in beautifully to our coloured cabinetry. The thing I love is that we did not sacrifice on practicality. This is a laundry and mudroom combo and it has all the storage a family needs. We always make sure we include a mop and broom cupboard and we've used these cute white handles from Lo & Co throughout the laundry to tie in with the Caesar stone bench top. And because it's a mudroom, we like to include drawers. So we've used these Hedic inner Tecatira drawers that are easy to open and close for putting shoes away. And one of our favorite things to include in laundry is to help keep a beautiful laundry like this one looking tidy day in day out is a built-in laundry hamper like this one what a home office this is it was especially important for us to put some emphasis into this room as it is the very first room that you see when you come into the home. It is beautifully proportioned. We have these statement stunning double entry doors with the glass panels and it helps make the room feel more spacious as well. We have invested in custom cabinetry. It is such a good investment. It's practical, it's durable, it will last many, many years for the homeowner. We've got the beautiful statement over window behind me and on this side of the room, we've even managed to include a whole row of storage with drawers beneath our bench seat.
What a great use of space to incorporate a study desk in a hallway upstairs. Yeah. It feels yeah. light, it's open, it's spacious, it's got storage. That's a space that would have been a dead space, but mm. we've now turned it into something really functional and practical that will add value to this home. Yeah. We're just about to meet Robert from Ray White Nepean Group and he hasn't seen the home completed yet so we're really excited to bring him inside, show him around and see his reactions and hear his feedback. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Good to see you again. Yeah, you too, good to see you again. Yes. Oh, what a facade. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm really excited to see the rest of the house. Take me through. I love these timber floors, they look incredible. They just flow all the way through and tie in beautifully with the stairs. Fantastic. You've nailed it. Okay. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, it gives it character, but it's still really sleek, isn't it? Wow. This is spectacular, isn't it? What a room. It's filled with natural light. I love the fact that we've built over, so we've got so much space. So I think you've got that spot on. It's really good to see it come to life. It's fantastic. I love this colour. Okay. It's, uh, it's really nice to see something a little bit different. And the textures are amazing. It's a really, really beautiful kitchen. It's the ultimate Aussie backyard. So the, the indoor outdoor transition is, is seamless. Yeah. Uh, the alfresco is incredible, straight onto the backyard, mm. pool in the background. It ticks every box. More green. <laughs> wow, I love it. Oh, wow, look at the ensuite. Go on in. That is incredible. So, this is the sort of statement that buyers fall in love with. Yes. Okay, <laughs> yes. I really enjoy my relationship with Sarah and Heather on these projects. They're always keen to learn, they take the advice on board, and their passion for what they do is unrivaled. And to see it all come to fruition now, giving me the opportunity to sell something unlike anything else in our marketplace, is really pretty special and very rewarding for me. So I really enjoy my relationship with them and can't wait for the next project. To be able to see his reaction and to know that we've nailed it and we've created something really special is so exciting. We're done, we're finished, which is a sense of achievement and yes. excitement. We yes. love tackling these projects. It's such a unique position that we're in that we've been able to do this over and over and over again. And sure, there's times where we think we're crazy, but we do know that we have learned a lot and it's our hope that for people out there who are building or renovating, that we have been able to share something with you to help you create your very own dream home. The past 18 months for us have been a whirlwind. We've bought you four dream homes and now it's time to slow down a bit. But don't worry, we're not going anywhere. We still have so much more to share with you and we're really excited about what we'll be bringing you in the future. And now we're wet, uh, uh, blooper. We have, I can't talk, I can't start because she's on the phone. Sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to find my notes. Colour truck. We've chosen this gorgeous earthy tile. We've chosen and we will lay it in a stack bat. Stack. <laughs> we have. <sighs> and it's a great way to, I don't know where I was going with that. Can you wake me up when you're done? <laughs> oh, that was so good except for the end. This is very awkward. Please cut that there. <laughs> the start. The starlight. The lounge room. No, it's a family room. Family room. The starlight. Good, Good job, on. Heather. Good, Good job. Us. Now to stick with budget, we chose not to include both sheer curtains and block out blinds. Oh, I had another bit at the end. What was it? Um, quite grand and beautiful when you walk in. Why am I wearing? Sorry, I, t I told you I was. <laughs> Oh, Heather, you've set me off. Right, that's everything for seven. Yeah, I think it was. Excellent. Yes. All right.